The legislation requires the Petroleum Authority to establish and publish annually a central database for persons involved in petroleum activities in Uganda. It also prohibits any entity from providing goods, works or services for oil and gas activities unless they are registered on the national database. The Petroleum Authority of Uganda plans to develop the national supply database into a centralized joint qualification and an e-marketplace where approvals for procurement documents may be made in line with the requirements of the legislation in Uganda. Uh, this is including aspects like approval of tender adverts, invitations to tender documents and bid evaluation reports. As Uganda's oil and gas sector approaches a very important stage, the need for the potential investors to register and prepare is vital, according to the Petroleum Authority's Executive Director, Ernest Rubondo. You previously heard that the volume of work we expect is in the range of 20 billion United States dollars. If you compare that to an economy of 27 billion dollars, the economists in you will know what this means. But more importantly, we need now to break this down because it is in different projects. Uh, the Tilenga project, for instance, is estimated at four, five billion US dollars, and that is sitting in Ulisa. The Kingfisher project is sitting in a, a new district called Chikube, uh, formerly Hoima. This is estimated at between one to two billion dollars. The refinery project is estimated at three to four billion dollars. The pipeline is expected to three, at between 3.5 billion dollars. And the beauty of this, which sometimes also has challenges, is that all of these are coming at the same time. NSD first launched in July 2017 has several key objectives. Key amongst them is improving efficiency in the supply chain, achieving openness and transparency in the procurement process and giving visibility to potential suppliers. So I think we should take this opportunity to say that the NSD is free to any communication in respect to the NSD from the Petroleum Authority must come from the official email that we have put on our website and the communication. So we need to have so many companies registered on the NSD so that we have the opportunities. We cannot complain that we do not have opportunities when in the first case we have not responded to register on the national supply entities. The NSD platform provides a medium for feedback and information dissemination to suppliers on the oil and gas sector in general. Since its inception, the NSD has enabled Ugandan businesses to formalize their systems and structures given the requirements for registration. Dennis Ikoa for UBC Business.